another basement here. Uh, this one's pretty chill, actually. They've uh, cleaned it out pretty good. Uh, this used to be a hardware store, I think. Uh, like back in the 50s. Um, we've already ran the fiber in. This is strange. So it's like they just all the nails from the old floor are still sticking up and they just like poured concrete in between. It's weird. But this looks like where all other utilities have gone. That's actually a water line. Okay. Um, telephone. Why do people do this? Look at that. So somebody just came in and just cut them for no reason. What was the point of cutting it and not removing the block? So now it's just trash. It's, and it makes really no sense. It's an interesting little meter. Um, this is basically a sub meter. I mean, no, it must be done more of a power. It's just a strange, it's plastic. <sighs> Entrance switch. It's sitting right on the ground. That's not a good look. <clears throat> this door here is super cool. Super, super cool. I mean, it's like, I'm guessing this was cold storage of some sort. It's a boiler. From all the basements you go in, this is actually in pretty damn good shape. I mean, I'm, uh, that's like a nine foot uh, reach. So I'd say the ceiling's 10 foot, maybe 11 foot. I think this is probably a chute for where they would bring in coal back in the day. And then, yeah, they would just be feet. This would be like a coal pit. And uh, obviously that boiler probably wasn't that same boiler. <clears throat> American Radiator Company. It's cool. All right, well, we're gonna get a, get us a single uh, splice set up. It is Monday, so I have not gotten a Red Bull yet in me, but we will before too long. So what we'll do is we'll set up our little base station here. Um, this is our fiber and I'll pretty much just be putting it in a box right there. Cool. Well, let's get staged. I just, I know it's about two and a half dB off. Let him warm up. I'm gonna cleave. Uh-oh, 998. I'll hit 1,000 today. That's kind of cool. The screen is just so bright, it like overpowers the camera. But we got to do it. So what I'll do, I'll get my pigtail uh, done first. Okay, <clears throat> now these um, loose tube uh, pigtails basically at this point, but it 
um, needs to be stripped quite a bit long. Um, something like that. Ho ho, hey now, Bryce. Get it together. work so what you really know is when you set it in here there's like a notch but I've found if you're behind oop, you have a pretty good success rate and this will be just fine I think It's just saying there's bad fiber on that side because it's right here in my hand. All right, now this one's blue. It might show up better. Oh, cool. You see that one? It looks pretty good. Lighting is really bad in here. Definitely makes it more difficult than it needs to be. Let's see what happens. Looking good. Looking good, looking good. What's wrong with you? Yeah, this, this style can really be a pain in the butt. It's really not meant to be spliced like this. I keep meaning to grab a lighter and uh, see if that solves the problem. <clears throat> I saw somebody say that you just hit it with a lighter and then that basically melts. Uh, down some. Mm. This one here is going to be funky too, I think. Oh, that's right on the line. It's Monday morning. My fingers and the splicer both are saying, hey, this isn't what I want to do. I can hear the motors just trying, trying their damnedest. It's just where that tube um, doesn't like moving around so much. All right, let's see if I know how to work this meter. Whoa, uh, wrong button. What? 
There we go. Unit. Oh, good. There we go. Negative 19. That's right. It's a, a rural tap. I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm thinking about the other side. So the other side is going to be a negative 20 after the eight way. Yeah. Cool. So let's go ahead and we'll heat shrink this thing. And that says negative 19. I think it's actually negative 17 because this meter's something's not right with it. Mm -hmm. And I got to walk over to the office to get a router because I didn't bring one. Huh. Didn't shrink right. And I want it. <gasps> Must be something in there because that smells funky. There she goes. All right, get that out of the way. We'll move on to the next step. I need a patch cable too. Been a pretty high probability of a basement here lately. And I like putting this. So there's two places this will sit one there and one there. Um, I like putting it right here because um, the drop cable is a little bit dense, uh, denser. It has a metal member in it, so it doesn't really bend like you want it to. I'll just cut that out. And there you have it. Like a glove. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll get this mounted onto the wall and uh, I'll go grab a router, show you the finished product. All right, well, that is about what that turned out to look like. Uh, we got our ONU on there. Um, just a simple splice, pigtail setup, and two bars. Two bars is what I want. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and just build my uh, eight-way thing here. Kirk had to get an extension cord. And uh, we'll go get the others hooked up today, too. Cool. Uh, it's always just tedious doing that, but um, got my eight way in for over. And then I got a place for uh, seven apartments, one spare. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this one on to 